The first of its kind sober living house is opening in Buena Vista. Something unique about this program, it's run by a peer recovery model, meaning that all of the staff have lived their own experiences in addiction and recovery. To news reporter Sydney Jackstimer introduces us to one counselor who used his past to find a new purpose. They're going to be able to start their independence here. Hope House, the name says it all. A first of its kind recovery home for people who recently completed a detox program and are looking for a fresh start. Now you have a place that you can transition into and start your new life. The house was made possible by multiple organizations like the Community Foundation for Rockbridge Bath in Allegheny and a grant from the Virginia Opioid Abatement Program. Hope House can host up to eight men in recovery. It's run by people who have had their own experiences recovering from addiction, like peer recovery specialist Thomas Whitlock Jr. I tried meth one time and, and loved it. I had to have it and uh, started doing a little bit of time, losing everything around me. Um, and during time, I did almost eight and a half years. I then changed my whole life, with little Lord's help. Um, and I knew then I was going to help people. This room in Hope House has gym equipment, a TV, a couch where people can sit here, do fellowship with one another, check in on each other, and still feel like they're at home. If I'd have had something like this the few times that uh, I couldn't go home, I think it would have helped me more. Absolutely. Um, and for the people that doesn't, that don't have homes, that, that are homeless when they leave, this is perfect. You wouldn't be able to tell from it now, but the house was previously abandoned after a fire. The transformation serving as a reminder, recovery is always possible. It was burned from the inside. So you look at this house now, it's the same way as an addict's life. You know, we were just mantled and just beat up and just nobody wanted nothing to do with us. And here we are just sitting here. And then finally somebody said, you know what, that's worth fixing for something good. In Buena Vista, I'm Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.